Hey guys, how's it going today? Chelsea here. Today I wanted to talk about something that I'm super passionate about. I don't know if you guys know, but I am a massively huge, ginormous otaku weeaboo trash fan. Just, I just love anime, I love manga, I love everything about that world. And today I wanted to make a video just talking to you about something that I'm very excited about, something that means a lot to me, and something I'm just super hyped about. Now I don't know if you guys ever watched the original anime Fruits Basket. It was something that was super close to me as like a preteen teenager. I identified so much with so many of the characters. I loved everything about it. I think that I originally just decided one day while I was at Books A Million way back in the day that I wanted to read manga. I saw someone at school reading a manga and I was like that's so cool. I've always been interested and so I decided just to go there one day when I was already going to go there and buy one. And I chose Fruits Basket. The first volume of Fruits Basket. I was like this sounds interesting and I just kind of randomly picked it up that day. I read it and I was in love with the idea and I loved, 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 loved it. And then I found out there was an anime and I watched it and it was so good. Like I, I was so obsessed with that anime. I probably watched it 40 times, probably not even exaggerating. And I haven't watched it in a few years. And so I'm probably about to rewatch it. And I know that it has aged because I did rewatch the first episode not too long ago just to see how badly it might have aged. The manga is still really good. The manga still holds up because I'm rereading through it right now. I'm currently on volume three. I do want to let you guys know that this video will contain some spoilers. So if you're not interested in any of the spoilery talk, this might not be the video for you. The reason for this video is that there's going to be a new Fruits Basket series coming out in 2019 and I am so excited about it. When I heard this news, I screamed. Like I was so excited. This is the series that has just, it kind of molded me as a person personally and it just meant so much to me as a preteen and as like a teenager growing up and being a nerd and just just it just meant so much to me as a person and I never had but maybe a couple friends who actually liked the show like they watched the anime but they didn't really read the manga so I felt like it just personally meant so much to me myself when I heard that this new show was going to be coming out in 2019 I lost it. I cried. They showed a couple of screenshots from it and I'll be sure to put them here for you to look at and also in the description below if you want to take a look at them yourself. So it looks really good in the new animation style, which I'm so excited about. It looks fantastic. I just, oh my god, I can't, I can't even. Like, and then they go and release video footage of it, which I'll put here and also in the description below if you want to see it. So not only do we have screenshots from the show and manga and, and even a new version of the manga has been released and then the three volume mangas and all the goodies, like they're redoing it. Natsuki Takuya, I don't know how to say her name properly, I'm sorry, but she is going to be handling this series with the people producing it. So she'll be working with them closely and personally herself. So it will be much more authentic to the original manga, like source material. And that is so exciting because if you watch the anime and read the manga, or if you didn't read the manga and you just watched the anime, you may or may not have noticed that they stopped at book five. The manga number five is where they officially stopped stopped the anime and that is unfortunate because it's 23 volumes. That's a lot of material that they missed, that they did not cover. There were characters that were never shown. It was very disappointing to only get to volume five in the show, which I understand back in the day. It was probably more of like, this is the interest of this show in America. We're only going to animate this much and we're only going to dub this. And so maybe it wasn't as popular back in the day and then it blew up. There was like Faruba fever, which is what they called it. Like people who blew up over the show. They didn't do the rest of the show. I guess it might have been budget or whatever. I really don't know the reasons. But it was unfortunate and I'm very sad that it didn't get done back then. But now, since they're redoing a few different anime, like they've, they've started redoing anime from our childhood, which is so exciting. Like they did Sailor Moon. They've done a Yu Hakusho movie, which I still have not seen yet. I've got to get on that. But this one, for some reason, just means a lot to me. And I am living for it. Like I am so excited. I cannot wait to see this show. It looks so beautiful. Like, oh, I cannot wait to see Rin and freaking Kiro and or Kino is it Kiro or Kino I don't remember the rooster and the horse they were never in the show originally they're in the manga but and then the ending oh my god it's gonna be it's gonna be so good I'm so excited <laughs> They have also announced some of the cast members for the new show. Not all of them, just a few for the Japanese 
sub version. I'll be sure to link them in the description. I do plan on watching this subbed and dubbed when they finally release. From what I read online, it's going to be officially released on Funimation's app, like if you have their app on like your PlayStation or your TV, like your smart TV or your phone or anything, they're gonna release on that weekly, I think, when they come out. I don't know, weekly, monthly, something like that. I know that My Hero releases weekly when it's done, so it's probably gonna be like that. They'll release a new episode every Saturday. I'll be watching it subbed every time a new episode releases. I don't know if it's gonna be multiple seasons for this show or if it's going to just all release at once. I have no idea how many episodes this show is gonna be, if it's gonna be like 26 again, like somehow they're gonna fit all that material in 26, hopefully not. 52, which is a big number, or 100 and something, which I hope it goes higher rather than lower because there's so much character building that happens within the manga that I would love to see. And kind of like with the Fullmetal Alchemist re-release, I would like it to be more authentic to the story like be I would rather it be too long than not long enough you know what I'm saying like I know a lot of people are the opposite like they'd rather it just be kind of short and sweet than carry on and be boring but this show is kind of a little bit of slice of life and I enjoy this particular version of that genre and uh, so I would rather it be longer honestly personally because I love the characters so much and I want to see them grow and I want to see them age because in the manga they do age a little bit throughout the story and the, the art style gets better like her art apparently she was really sick when she started Fruits Basket and then it continued and she got better so she doesn't really like the art from some of it from what I've read this is all what I've read online so I'm excited to see if they do age in the show or if they look the same even though they're like 20 something my personal opinion about the original anime I loved it of course back in the day but it is a little too perfect honestly I rewatched it over and over back then I had no problems with it whatsoever as far as like the new one goes I hope that they of course put in the rooster and the horse because those were totally excluded from the original series. I hope that they keep a couple of the voice actors. They may or may not keep the same voice actors from the original Eng English version. I'm talking about English because that's when I watched it originally. And part of me wants them to just because I would feel bad for the voice actors because they're all still working that I'm like, I think they're all still working. I also kind of want to it to be fresh. So I'm kind of broken in between what I want for this series as, as far as my opinion goes. Like I kind of want new voice actors, but I'd feel really bad if it wasn't John Bergmeier playing Shigure because he's my favorite character and he's also my favorite character in Yu Hakusho. So I just have like a thing for this guy for some reason, all his characters. So I'm excited to see who's going to be playing those characters and how Kyo is going to act with an, if he has a new voice actor because he is such an important character to the series that like, is he going to be meaner? Is he gonna be about the same tolerance level? Is he gonna be like sexier? Like I don't know. Like I want Yuki to sound sexier but I don't know. I don't really like the idea of Kyo being different and, and Shigure. Like those are the two for some reason that I want to stay the same. <laughs> I hope that they really go on with the um, gender things that go on in the show. I know that the show itself didn't really explain any of the like more adult themes of the show. It kind of just lightly touched on one character likes to cross dress. And whether or not you agree with things like that, that's your personal opinion. I love the fact that they explored these things. I loved that there's a character who likes to dress as a woman, but I'm going to watch the sub as it releases weekly, but also I'm going to make my husband watch it with me. <laughs> He doesn't seem very excited about it, but he has a thing that he really likes, Mortal Kombat, and I pretty much will watch everything that comes out with him about it, just to join him on the hype and to understand why he likes it. And it's not that I don't like it, it's just that I don't I don't have as much of an attachment to it as he does. I have an attachment to Fruits Basket, so I'm hoping that he will, you know, watch it with me and maybe see what I see in the show, since it's gonna be true to form on this one. So uh, we're gonna watch it together, and then maybe, maybe after um, some of the episodes, we'll review it or talk about it or maybe the show or whatever. I just want to enjoy it with him. I'm going to kind of force him to watch this one. But yeah, you can watch it on Funimation whenever they release it. They said 2019. I'm not sure if it's going to be in the spring, summer, fall, winter or whatever. I just know they said 2019 and uh, I'm like super hyped about it. <laughs> I've got to get a subscription to Funimation because I don't want to miss out on the hype and I don't want any spoilers as far as like art and voice acting and stuff like that goes. I want it to be either I find out before it comes 
comes out or I find out through watching it. So that's how I choose to receive my information. So I've got to uh, probably cancel my Verb subscription because since they took Funimation off, we don't watch it as much. There's only one anime station on there and they have very few. And I hate that because we love Rooster Teeth first, but we're probably just going to get Rooster Teeth first and then Funimation and that'd be our subscriptions and just kind of cut off Crunchyroll and Verb. Like I hate it, but that's really what we watch a lot of. And it's just extra money that we don't have to spend on another subscription when I could be watching the ones that I want to watch. The subscription costs so much money. I don't know off the top of my head. I'll probably put it here somewhere in the video. And um, this is not sponsored at all. I wish. My God, that would be amazing. That's where I plan on watching it. If you want to watch it too, follow me on Twitter and I'll update there on these kinds of things. Um, I'll have that in the description. Follow me on Instagram. I'll put that in the description below. I'm just so excited. Like I can't even get my thoughts straight. I'm just too excited. I'm just, just too excited. <laughs> <laughs> I am really scared that I'm hyping it up too much. My husband's like, you're gonna be really disappointed if it's not what you want. And I know that, I know that, I know that, but I can't help it. And it's one of those things where it's like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be hyped. And if it's disappointing, then I'll just look back at the original material and just love that and just that be what I live with. You know, like it, the new one doesn't have to ruin my opinion of the old one. Hopefully it's good though. Like hopefully it's what our hopes and dreams are there for. And I'm just really, really excited. Join me in the hype in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!